uh, video number five is the Land Rover rear floor ready to go back in um, being painted now with the cross members put into place and then if we go through to the Land Rover um, I think I've shown you all this before um, here's the old cross member on earth Anyway, it's said about that the better I think. Terrible state. And um there's a new one fitted and painted. And if we open up we can see the um three new supports for the floor in place. Um the old ones were down here, or two of them, the third one just completely totally disintegrated. So um, it was an unexpected surprise to refit all these. So we're up to date now, I'm going to fit, see if the floor fits and perhaps do that later. Okay, bye. With all the old clutter on. The other day I said my mate Syl wasn't here. Well, she is. I know I get on camera eventually. <laughs> and if you look, she comes from a sailing background. She's got a. She bought this parrot from East Grinstead Market, from Forest Row Market this morning. <laughs> and I keep telling her it's not a pigeon. It's not a parrot. It's a pigeon. pigeon. But she won't have it. <laughs> oh dear. We'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> Hello all. I'm not sure. Well, I finished on the last video but um, here's an update on what's been going on. The uh, new cross members in, um, it all went in pretty well. The um, back floor and new supports, the six new supports, three running horizontally, diagonally three running from back to front and a new aluminium sheet pop riveted down so that's all done and it's nice and strong um, going round to the front here the wheels are back on, brakes are done on the back um, I've altered the suspension hopefully to give a softer ride because these are renowned for a thinking hard ride fuel tanks in just needs the pipes connecting up and I found the rest of the screws and tightening in to position. Um, you see the front wings on now. That's all gone in pretty well. Quite pleased with the door pillars and the relationship to the wings. <coughs> I've done some aluminium welding here <coughs> for the support. Not quite sure how successful that's going to be. It seems that the trying to weld the very thin aluminium is a bit of a problem <clears throat> when you get onto the thicker stuff um, it's quite an easy task it's quite it's a bit like um, a bit like soldering and at the moment I'm making up some rubber mounted brackets these are going to be for the um, intercooler which I'm putting in front of the radiator it's not going to make any difference to the cooling because the it never gets up to temperature, even in the winter it's, uh, it doesn't get hot, so that's not going to make any difference to the radiator. So the intercooler is going to go in there mounted on these brackets. And here we have the rest of the turbo pipes, I'm just figuring out and putting them in. And the snorkel, not too sure about the snorkel though, it's not particularly necessary. Um, it was on the vehicle when I got it so I'll try and put it back in but I think this you can see this pipe we've got some holes in although that's repairable might be a little bit too much to repair I, tr I tried looking on the internet for a new one but um, couldn't see any again aluminium soldering this wing well it doesn't look as though it fits it does actually fit 
Um, so that's ready to be bolted on. And that's about it for today. <coughs> Things are pro progressing, but as with all of these projects, slower than you expect. So I'll do another video when I get this um, this intercooler in and uh, and connect it up. Okay. Bye for now.